I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara, about to join us in a second. She's getting the pad or getting the laptop, the pewter. So um, I got some new Asher knives in. We're about to unbox them here in just a moment. As soon as I can see myself, because oh. I don't even know if this camera's positioned correctly. I don't even know if this thing way. got battery. Oh, it does, it does. Okay. Okay. You didn't grab that pod, did you? Oh, it's on my game still. We should watch this. You didn't grab that pod, did you? I got a pod for you right here. Okay. Uh, I'll get one. Just it's fine, it's fine. Give us one moment, please. Relax. Take it easy. I just want to make sure you guys can see us. That's us. Go it. Is the volume down? All right. What's up, Breeze? Mark Wallaby? Hag? All right, so. Oh, Hag 90. Yeah, Hag 90. All right, so we got these Asher knives in just a few minutes. We will do the unboxing. I don't know if you guys seen the unboxing from Mr. Amazing, but... Wow, we got some incredible knives. I'm super stoked oh, we about this. We are overexposed if I've ever seen that in my life. Why? Because we're overexposed. This hinder scale. Oh, I'm so psyched about that. Even though I love this micarta and the way it looks and everything, but can you imagine with this scale on there? Woo! That's going to look so damn sweet. Um, And I'm so excited about this K390. Because I've never tried K390 steel. And if you guys don't know about K390, K390 is... It's basically, it's a high... Um, it's it's a tool steel. A high carbide tool steel. That um, has massive edge retention. It's not a stainless, so you do have to be careful with it. But other than that, though, it's a very, very uh, hard steel. So it has really good. Well, how this did is, I already have a dislike? Like, what did we do? What did you do? They probably accidentally bumped it, or it's just that, it's just that <laughs> so guy. Tacky. They probably so, accidentally bumped it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, I've never used it, so I can't speak on my own experience. But I'm speaking from other people's experiences that say it has extreme edge retention, blah blah blah. So I can't wait to really try it out. And this car, this is my car to. It's so good looking. If you look at the back cut of it, the cross fibers are so amazing. What? What is PD1? Hey, Amy. What is PD1 micro melt? Wait, please discuss PD1 micro melt as you get a chance. I'm not sure. Okay, so we can discuss that. Um, we don't know what it is. Discussion uh, over. <laughs> I might. What's up, Triple E EDC? I might know what it is if I look it up really quick. Um. Please, where are the scales from again? Oh, um, I haven't gotten a chance to check my comments yet, so um, I do not know. So the, so the ones, let me see. So these are from Sharp Dress Knives because that's the pouch they're in. The titanium scale is from Hinder. I can tell that because it's got the Hinder logo on the back Dang, side. your aunt is so observant. She knows so, your new chair. Yeah, you like that? You got the new chair. I have the old Very chair, if you're wondering. She was using one, it earlier. The old one that feels like you're sitting on a plank of wood. Yeah, with my butt. This voluptuous Maybe booty not needs your a better chair. Voluptuous booty. Yeah. Are you up high enough? Should I go down no, a little bit? No, this is high as I Should go. Should I go down a little bit, you think? Yeah. I feel inferior. I don't even have armrests. How about I get this one like you, we're on yeah. a plane? Yeah, use it. Like we're on a plane. Um, okay, so let's start unboxing these. How many people are in here? I can't even see the thing. Enough for you? I don't know. Make is sure you go man? into real time. I yeah, it kind of does. I did go I did go into real time. Okay. All right. We also have a, a computer that we're now trying to... Anyways, let's just start doing this. Yeah. Don't put this The people that are here are the ones who matter. Oh, it's over here, silly goose. Okay. Let me see. Where? 36. All right, 36. Good enough. Okay, so we got a frame lock... An S35VN feels like it's on bearings. Very nice action. Really, really snappy. Obviously, this isn't a review. This is just me checking it out for the first time. Show Very us your cool. knives. You want to check it out? 
Okay. Oh! We will look at other knives here in just a second. I want to check these. Uh, okay, so now this one's an access lock Whoa. knife. This thing is kind of dope. Oh, I bet this is the new ball bearing one. So this is, yeah. Okay, so this is their new access lock with the ball bearings. With the ceramic bearings. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this frame, though. It's a little skinny, so it's kind of stabby. Oh, if you keep doing it. Okay. Like, it's... Whenever, oh, the, the, the whenever frame, they make a yeah. frame, it gets very thin here. Yeah, it can. They Well, they cut it in even thinner here. Yes, and so yeah. it just kind of is like... If you... if you, It's not... I wouldn't sit here and open and close it, and open and close it, and open and close it. Okay. Can I try that one, please? Yeah, this action is really good on the that one. I like the way this one looks and feels. I'll go to this one in a second. Oops, I messed that up. We got one oh more after goodness. this. Why is why isn't Douglas sitting on Kara's shoulders under her hair? <laughs> <laughs> I we're all like differently positioned because of these chairs. Now. Yeah, we're gonna everything's and also it's a mess around us right now. We totally have to clean up and change everything around. So, um, but what? I see what you're saying about the YouTube frame. YouTube unsubscribed the Great Wallaby from us. But he said he was still getting notifications, so he didn't know. That happens to me every once in a while from yeah, other people's channels. That. Like, literally, I know I didn't unsubscribe. And then I'll be wondering, like, what's been going on with this pe these people? And then I'll go to check, and I'm unsubscribed from them for some reason. And uh, I, just YouTube does it, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Let's check out this next one. Okay, this one's a line. Ooh, big thumb studs. That is sweet. This is nice. I like this one. I mean, I like them all, but this thing, you can literally take the... Your they definitely got inspo from the 940. What? That looks like a bug out 940 combo. Okay. This shape at the top, and then uh. the butt looks like a bug out. So the thumb studs are massive. And, like, you can use them just by putting your finger on top of them. Instead of going, like, underneath, you can put your finger right on top of it. So the reverse flick. Oh, man, this thing is snappy. <laughs> wow, you would, like, just looking at it, you don't expect this action to be this good. Can I come in on a comment? Try that. But do you get what I'm saying about the 940? Yes. And the bug out? It looks like both. Um, I don't like the way this G10 feels, though. I can say that. It's I like the way it feels. It's, it, it almost gives me, like, that weird feeling. You're getting, you're getting crazy, you know that? You're getting <laughs> effing crazy. But I like that. I want it to be an access lock because it's like a bug out 940. Well, then grab it's the other one. It's a bug out 40. You grab the other one. It's a nine bug out. Um, what do you about I the, keep doing it. What do you think about the studs? The studs are studly. I don't know what that means, but that's a good thing. How do you like it? I like it. I really do. Look at that. Look it's at so that. smooth. Yeah. These are definitely... You do it up here a little bit so you can they see. They can see all the way down to my crotch. That right is now. crazy, though, this camera view. <laughs> they can see this right here. Bow! Um, um, I like it. But uh, let me say something about this comment I see. Triple E EDC said, I, um, stop! What? You keep making me feel inferior. Um, uh, he said, I unsubscribed from Ryan's toy review because it is dominating my kids' lives. It did not huh. work. And I have to say something about Ryan's toy review. First of all, my five-year-old nephew is equally as obsessed, and I think I am not a fan, okay, for this reason and this reason alone. The, um, the, uh, toys that Ryan's toy review sells mm -hmm. in, like, Target, he has a deal at Target. Oh, does he? So one of the things that they sell is, like, these treasure chests or these eggs and basically, when you get them, you don't know what you're going to get. You know you're going to get an assortment of certain toys, but you don't know, like, which kind you're going to get. So it almost gets to be, like, collectible, where they keep wanting all the five capes that you could possibly get. Uh -huh. Or all the five action figures you could possibly get in any of these eggs. It's like Pokemon cards. Right. Okay? But the stuff that comes in these eggs is utter and total shit. <laughs> it is like McDonald's toys. Oh, really? It's yes. like that? And you spent forty dollars, forty dollars on an egg with like six shitty products. Yeah, I'd be one was pissed. like a cape, and then like a, a pair, like a little mask, 
like a one thin. It's kind of like, like Gerber products. Pro it's kind of like Gerber products. Oh, it's worse. Just good at advertising. It is worse. I'm telling you, these are Dollar Tree products. One of them was like literally like a Zorro mask, and it was just like one piece of silk. Like, one ply toilet paper status. Like, it was just thin, like, that you just tie around your head. Wow. And it was a cape that was at also a beach towel, which was stupid. It was, like, the smallest thing in the world. Like, oh, my God. And I know the concept of having... See, those eggs are the devil. Um, <laughs> I know the concept of this whole, like, surprise toy, you don't know what you're going to get egg thing has been around for years. Like, it's been very popular in the last, like, five years or so. Yeah. But these Ryan toy review ones, oh, my God, they are crap. You are, they have to be making a 90% profit margin on them. Probably more than they that. They have to be. Probably more than that. What are you looking at, my hair? What? Is it shaking? No, you you're look fine. up. So have you ever had someone do that when they're talking to you and they go like this? Doesn't that drive you nuts? Like people looking up at your hair. You're like, what's on my hair? Just spit it out. You're fine. It looks good. Your hair looks great. I was looking how pretty it looks. I was. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're probably making more than 90%, though. I mean, that would be the like, highest profit margin. That would be, like, food restaurant status margins. Right. That CRK, yes, man, this thing is so smooth. I mean, ridiculously smooth. I can't even explain how smooth this thing feels. <laughs> yeah, like Wish products. Hey, Casey <gasps> Tyler! Where is it? Where is it? Where is can't it? Can't wait to get my Sabenza clone Where? back. Douglas took it, of course. Damn it, Douglas. Damn it, Douglas! Is that Casey Tyler's? Yes, it is. I said that to you. Kara looks like her bun is on fire. What does that mean? Because it's blonde? Is that why? Because it's like orangey yeah, blonde? Yeah, yeah. It's not on fire. See, nobody believed me when I what said my, that? my hair was... What was that? What is that? It wants to just... Update it wants phone. to update. We're going to postpone it. Um, But literally... Everyone didn't believe me when I said, remember when I got my hair dyed and I was like, it's still mostly brown. Everyone was like, no, it looks all the way blonde. Now y'all motherfuckers can see. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you, you totally see how dark it is. But they, they know how dark your hair is. They thought I dyed like all of it though. Right. No, the needs have it now. Yeah, we we have a, a bunch of knives that uh, after that unboxing we haven't shown yet. We're about to get to them uh, soon, probably in the next couple videos. I got a couple I got to go through, and then we'll probably start going through those knives. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, I showed her that, uh, that Chris Reeve knives, and it's crazy that, um, Mr. Amazing thought of that with this because her biggest issue with the Sabanza is the texture. You need to swallow. What? I could tell you needed to swallow. I'm done now. Okay. Um, so, but yours has the texture still except for the other side that's been anodized by, uh, Lindy Lou. But he literally knew and paid attention so much to my thoughts and my feelings. And this doesn't have that because it has the, the satin yeah. finish rather than the bead blast. The only place the bead blast is on is on the lock bar and the clip. Ooh. So, man, this thing is so smooth. This is a very, very nice model. Yeah, um, it is. This is the first Sabenza where I can kind of be like, okay, I get it. I get it. All the other ones, I was like, the hype isn't real. But this one, I'm like, I get it. Yeah. I definitely can can understand. And then just the blade shape and geometry. And this is like a big thing for me with it Wait, is mm -hmm. the sharpenability. So the way the choil is done, like this thing has so much life to it. You can just, this, I understand why people call this, you know, a real work knife because it is, you know, it's got the hollow grind. It's not like it's super thin, but it's well done where the thinness behind the edge stays that same thinness for a large portion up the blade, which allows you to get many You're sharpenings. You're supposed to flick them, right? You're supposed to slow roll them, but you can even technically do this. Ah. Uh, he did it before. Sorry. I can't get it now. Oh. 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 There you go. Once ah. you get the placement down where your finger is supposed to go, you'll get it every time. Almost every We're time. We're still overexposed. And Why do you like say it. that? Overexposed is like the amount of like white light. I can't speak. White light versus dark light in the picture. And if you have too much white light, you're overexposed. My skin does not look... Your skin does not look like this in real life. You're overexposed. Douglas is oh, overexposed. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you it's mean. It's too bright. I gotta aim this up at the ceiling or something. 
Yeah, just, yeah, just name that it's away. It's not like the way that we really look. No, name that away. Sorry we're all messed up today, guys. We, uh, like I said, we have a mess going on. And um, and we're probably not even going to do a very long live tonight. Because we have games to play. Because we have some games to play. Um, this knife, multi-roll bearings, super smooth. It is ridiculously smooth. So Jared is not that pale is what you're saying. Correct. <laughs> no, he's, he's not, not that pale. <laughs> Even now we still look pale. Yeah, we, we do. Are, we but do. it's not as overexposed. Yeah. As it was. Definitely. Was. Definitely, definitely. 22 likes. The nerve. Oh, I thought that said the Neves. The Neves. <laughs> That's how I read that. Um, where are you guys going to play? <gasps> Why? What are we playing? Why? Let me get my new one. Oh! I told them that, uh, what's wrong? I thought he meant, what are we going to play on the live? We're going to play Oh, why don't you grab that thing really quick if you want to. Let's check it out. Okay, go ahead. Go get it. Okay, but we're going to, we have the new, so I'm not like a huge Call of Duty fan, honestly, but being that split screen is dead, it's one of the only games that, like, first person shooters that we can play together. So we got the new, uh, Cold War and we're going to check it out. I'm probably going to go revert back and also get Black Ops 4 just because, but I don't think you like that one because it's not boots on the ground. Um, it's like, doo -doo. What the heck does that mean? You know what it means. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go get See? the other thing. That's how interconnected we are. You knew what doo -doo means. So, let me speak on these knives since I said we were going to unbox them. Um, Kara wants to change the subject so fast. Um, I so answering It's a people. joke. It's a damn the joke. people wanted so, to know. So, the frame lock. Um, great blade shape. It is thin, like very thin. Um, the G10 is nice and grippy, reversible clip. The frame is sharp though. She was right. Like it's, uh, it gives you a little bit of a cutout right here, but then they also cut out the lock bar. So it's pretty sharp <laughs> to the punk. touch, but it is super smooth. Now the access lock one is way smoother than the original version. The original version, I remember I had to break mine in. Um, but this one is, the, the, all right, the access lock pokes out very far. So it's super easy to grip onto. And then I really like, I know a lot of people like access locks on phosphor bronze because they eventually smooth out. But I just find it so, um, I don't know, enjoyable to use them when they're on bearings, kind of like the SOG Terminus. Um, it's just super fidgety, and it's like, you know, you right away, you know, it doesn't even need to be broken in. This one also has a great blade shape. Um, the edge isn't the best. I don't really care about that. Um, but nice sharpening choil. Um, G10 is nice and... Eh, this one's not as grippy as the frame lock. Oh, maybe it is. Hey, uh, nice... Naf surgeon. Um, I, I, I didn't really experience issues issues per se, but I bet if you measured your frame rate, it's probably bad. And, and I bet you the graphics probably aren't as good as, like, like the graphics didn't bother me either because I wasn't comparing it to anything. Um, and I still don't really mind that much because I'm personally am not a huge graphics snob. Like I want it to be, you know, like good but it doesn't have to be like like i can play far cry 3 still and be like okay with that but that's kind of what it felt like i was playing like that's kind of how the graphics were like at one point the uh the dude jackie was eating like chinese food in it and like the box everything looked fine but you looked inside at the food and it was totally two-dimensional with like green squiggles and like some of the stuff is not i don't know if it wasn't loaded yet or if it was just that bad um but that's kind of the, the most issues, the only other issue I experienced out of an hour of gameplay was that there was something that I should have been able to pick up that I couldn't pick up, and my uh, indicator uh, never was fully centered when I wanted to pick something up, so just like some weird stuff, but... Look who's in the house, Alien! Got his knife right here, badass knife, can't wait for that to drop. Alright, but for the Asher knives, the one I'm most impressed with as of right now for the unboxing is this new liner lock version. I don't know the name of it. Like I said, just unbox them. Their names weren't on them. It's obviously on bearings. Big old thumb studs. The thumb studs are massive. The action is stupid. I mean, it's just, it's so fidgety, like crazy. Like, I can easily reverse flick it. 
or thumb flick it or slow roll it. You can do it from the top of the stud, just from the way it's, um, how big they are and how grippy they are. The grip is very, very nice on this. I do really like, what do you think about the texture of this one? Is this one you said you didn't like the texture of? It's, it's questionable. Okay, well, This I, is my absolute favorite texture of any knife ever, by the way. Because it feels almost like steel, but it's not. And I love it. Well, it's titanium. It's still metal. I know, but it, ha it, it every time I pick it up, it almost... Has it uh, reminds me of like the F twelve. Uh, Show them what you're talking about. The um the new waypoint. Yeah, the um, what was that one Ganzo we used to have? The F eleven or twelve? F H. F H. F H twelve. Yes, it reminds me of that. Like every time, and I think that's what it is. Is that it's reminding me of that in some ways? So my brain is going to stainless steel, even though I know uh -huh. it's not. But the texture is the exact same as that knife, and I love it's just smooth without being slippery, and I love. It. But these are all S35VN. The clip is wide, but in the hand, it's actually very comfortable. And this little ridge right here, your finger just wraps right around. It feels really good in the hand. Liner super easy to get to, but not sharp. Um, like the frame lock version is a little sharp, but yeah, I'm impressed with this one. I'm impressed with them all, but that one right now is standing out the most to me. Then the access lock with the bearings. I really like that. Then probably last is the frame lock. Now, that could all change tomorrow after using and checking out and really, you know, getting to really test them out or anything or, you know, getting a few days. You know how that goes, you know. After a few days, you start, if things start reversing and changing, but right off the bat, that's how I feel. <laughs> wow, this game that you got me, they put a card in here It says, officially banned. The, I'm not going to say this word because I do know this is a word that YouTube cracks down on, so I'm going to spell it. The S-U-I-C-I-D-E expansion pack has been banned from retail and is only available at DisturbedFriends.com. Uh -huh. So I got her this little box. It's a, a game for Disturbed Friends. We thought it might be fun in the live. I don't even know if this will be entertaining on the live Well, I don't whatsoever. think we can play it per directions. How do you get rid of this? I, I'm going to get rid of it. Um... Four hours, huh? Yeah. Um, anyway, I don't think we can play per the rules because, like, I can't pass you guys cards, but we can definitely go through some of the cards. The question is. If it's not, if it's, like, weird, we don't have to play. It's not weird. It's no, just, I just not mean, like, if playable per the directions because I can't point. hand them yeah. a player card and a winning well, card. I didn't think that's the way it'd be. I thought the questions would be funny. No, the questions are funny. That's what I'm saying. We can just go through the questions. All right, so go ahead. Get rid of what? Not a rock set, I hope. Get rid of what? I don't know. What are we talking about? Getting rid of something. I don't know. Um, I don't know what we're talking about. Some of these questions are actually kind of interesting. What are they? Let's hear well, one. Like, hey! One. Some of them are like... Mr. C, Whoa! Merry Christmas, Thanks, Happy Mr. New Year C. to you. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate that very much. Um, The question's like... If only I had a knife. Stasa! What's up, bud? We just, uh, we're showing the new Asher knives, the new Asher models. Um, pretty awesome. So, that, so, Sorry, go ahead. No, some of the questions are, like, actual qu questions, kind of, and then some of them, it's like, the answers are all hilarious, kind of, like, funny questions, but, and you have to, like, pick one. So that's how we're going to do it. It's kind of like a version of Cards Against Humanity, but... Like, this one says, I think... <laughs> I can't get over how smooth that damn one, knife is. This one says, I think blank go perfect together. A... <laughs> I think blank go perfect together. A, massive turds and silk toilet paper. B, cocaine and titties. And C, reality TV and being canceled. <laughs> So go it's like good together, reality TV and being Kansas. That would definitely probably go good together. But um, cocaine and titties and massive, massive turds, turds and, and silk toilet paper. Silk toilet paper. Probably uh, that one. Yeah, probably that one. <laughs> these are some of these are really inappropriate. They're man. very inappropriate. Right? I wonder if we shouldn't do this. If we don't, we don't have to. I want to have. <laughs> This next one says, "I want no, to. Don't. I want to have blank inside my anus. A, my best friend's pinky finger. 
B, a giraffe's tongue, Ew. or C, Neil Patrick Harris? Ew. No, D, Why would you read above. that one? But you know who showed it to me. You knew I was going to read it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, these are really bad. Are they that bad? Aren't there other ones, though? No, they're all like this. They're all, like, <laughs> they're all the same. <laughs> It's funny, but I don't want people that watch, you know, with their 12-year-old. I know we already have the swearing issue, but I don't want to completely have someone be like, okay. Enough. Yeah, unsubscribe from these Yeah, assholes. like I don't want to. Well, I just don't want to make it to where somebody feels like they can't hear the knife content we have because there's going to be 20 minutes of this, you know what I mean? Yeah, Which, you know like, what we'll do? We could, you know what we could do? We could wait, save that for like the end of an episode. Yeah. How about that? So we might play that game, but we'll wait till the end of an episode. And we'll put a fair Damn, warning out there. How do you go? Do what? You didn't do nothing. You're fine. Okay, you there. Why are you going backwards? Because I'm reading something. Hope y'all had a great Christmas. You got Asher Knives on the way? That's awesome, Stassi. Yeah, the, the one that's impressing me the most as of right now is this liner lock version. The thumb studs are really big on it. It's super smooth. <laughs> in my hand, it's pretty comfortable. The clip might bother you. In my hand, it winds up working out, but it is a big clip, but I like is it. Is it a girl giraffe or a guy giraffe? That is a good question, though. <laughs> that is a good question. Well, does it matter? Um, Only to a guy. Right. <laughs> um... So uh, this is a family friendly channel guys <laughs> yes it is um, yeah we'll have to save that one for like the end of a live and then we'll play that game maybe a little bit not this live but maybe next live I have my friendly cards my pub quiz impossible decisions and charades we don't have to play anything so we're not going to be on here too long so let's just enjoy ourselves how, uh, how was all your guys' Christmas did like anybody get anything cool I do like some motherfucking trivia, though. Okay, do some trivia, then. In a little. How about the a last 20 A transgender giraffe. How about in the <laughs> last 20 minutes? The last 20 minutes? Yeah, we'll okay. trivia. Okay. They're, like, two feet long. I know. I uh, I actually I went to a, um, a zoo, and yeah. it was so empty. There was nobody there. Like, not even workers. I didn't see anybody. And I seen this giraffe, and, like... I love giraffes, and I um, I jumped in the cage with it, and uh, I pulled some grass, and I went to feed it, and it walked right up to me, and it you know leaned down, and its tongue. Did they look all derpy? They always look all like stoned in their eyes. No, he looked uh, interested, so he walked up to me, and he bends his neck down, and he takes his tongue on his tongue stretched so, so far, and it literally hooked. Yeah. So it like went like this and like hooked the you grass. You know why they do that, right? The hooking thing? Yeah. To get go, the leaves? Yeah, yeah, that's what he did with the grass out of my hand. And then ever since then, I love giraffes even more. That giraffe was really cool. Um, I fed him a few times, but that was the only time I was actually in the cage alone without any, you know, support, mm. help, anything could happen type thing. Are you allowed to give spoilers on the Knife Junkie? Um, they want to know how it went. Okay, it went very spoilers. well. It's supposed to be dropping tonight. He, or no, sorry. Tonight. Tomorrow night. For some reason, I keep feeling today's Can Sunday. Can you give him a sneak peek? So, yes, what we did was... He said Bob a lot. I did not. Actually. Sure did. You're like, no. Well, Bob. No, I didn't. So, Anyway, Bob, uh, you know, the thing I was thinking about, Bob, is that, um, you know, this knife is, uh, it's really one of kind, Bob, and, uh, the thing is, Bob... That didn't happen, because you, I thought about that the entire time, thinking, I don't say his name, don't say his name. I if I say that. his name one time, Kara's gonna be all over my ass, so I never said it. Just it just sounds funny. I want to talk about these knives, though, here in a minute. Um, these new knives. What do you got for them, really, Bob? <laughs> but no, what I did, or what we talked about mostly, was knife sharpening. He wanted to do basically like a knife sharpening episode. So, everything was basically about that. Now, he did have other questions, um, like, you know, like knife questions and stuff. But for the most part, the majority of it was about knife sharpening and... Stuff like that. So it went really good. I enjoyed myself. I felt like I rambled a little bit afterwards. He said it. He didn't seem so. He said he thinks that the best episodes go like that because people are entertained and they want, you know, like a steady flow of information. So <laughs> she said it went good. She yes. wasn't in it, though. Seems logical. Please do that. Um, I wasn't in it, but I was literally right around the corner listening. Um, 
Precision said his Delica and 20 CV came yesterday. That is awesome. This is the K390. This is the first time I'm getting to try K390 on this PM2. This micarta is just so beautiful. The cross-cut section, you can see every fiber. It's beautiful. But I can't wait to try this K390. This stuff's supposed to have insane edge retention. Can't wait to sharpen it because the edges these things are supposed to take are supposed to be insane as well. I like Breeze's interpretation so we'll of you. Bob, well, rocks that Bob. Sharpening Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, do you know how to remove scratches on knives? If so, I think that would be a good video. How to remove scratches? Um, yes, yeah, stone wash it. That you weren't you were supposed to make a video on it. I have. Actually. You made a video called How to Remove Scratches from Knives, because I don't remember that. No, but that's what why we did it. Do you not remember we did this together? It was a video we did. She doesn't remember. No, I don't. So, Why don't you elaborate? We showed how to acid etch and stone wash a knife in case if you've scratched your knife to death, you could change it into a stone washing, which will hide the scratch. I don't remember the purpose of it being that. It wasn't though. just that, because you could also just want to stone wash your knife, but that was right. one of the things you could be doing. So you can also just put a new satin finish on, and I also showed that with... But I did it different than how you should do it. You should do it with sandpaper, like 300 grit sandpaper. Well, Bob, scratches are bad, Bob. But uh, but no, I should make a, a full video on that. But I did, what did I do? I, I, I ground a knife with a diamond plate. That's what I did. And I put new, uh, basically new satin finish on it with a 300 grit diamond plate. It came out really good, and I also thinned it out a little bit. Um... Instant Knife Guy says, morning, guys. Well, it's nighttime here. Um, that's why I like coated blades or sandstone to camouflage scratches. See, that's why I don't like coated blades. And I'm not saying I don't like coated blades at all, because some coated blades are awesome. But for the most part, I think a good stonewashed blade or a good satin blade hides scratches because a black blade or a coated blade will scratch. Eventually, all most of all the, the the knives that I have that have coating on it have scratches on them um, from using them. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Um. Yeah, this new scale it's though from Hinder. Plus. Yeah, I well I was looking at this stuff right here. Oh, yeah, you know, actually, back to this PM2. So the original one, I don't know what these things originally went for. With the, I know this is probably an exclusive, the K390 PM2. You guys probably know more about it than I do. Because we, um, he thought that we didn't like PM2s because we don't have one. <laughs> but the thing was, was that we never really got one. And I do like them a lot. I did get to try other people's out. But we never bought one because... They've been reviewed so much that um, it doesn't help the channel out at all. And we, you know, we have to be very frugal with the money for the channel. So it's hard spending money on a knife that we want if it doesn't help the channel at all. Unless if it's like a holiday or something like that. But even then, I, you want a knife that helps the channel. I do, yeah, exactly. But um, but I've but the steals that. Some of the exclusives come in. I always am interested and I always want to know about. But not like from like, like say if I'm watching like say a video from a knife reviewer. Pause. And yes, David. What was the question? That was it. Go ahead. It was just quick. Yes. Just want to give a yes. Okay, so if a, knife, a if, if a knife reviewer has um, has already done their opinion on the PM2, right? Then they show, oh, I got the PM2 and the K390. Well, that doesn't do anything for me, right? Nothing. Unless if I know they've tested it and they're giving me information on the steel. Because at that point, it's still just a PM2. What's the big deal with it? It's an exclusive. Okay, it's a color. Like, I want to know the info on the blade. Because that's the big change in it. So unless if that person has tested it out, sharpened it, and done all that, I, I'm not even going to watch that. Um, so, like, those videos don't do anything for me. So it seems logical. Uh, the answer to what you just said is partially. He said, so you're saying that you preface knife purchases based on what you think we would like rather than what you actually want for yourselves. That's partially true. However, it's not necessarily the case. So the case kind of is, is like, there might be a knife I really like, but it's super old. 
but there might be another knife that I like that's newer. I'm going to go with the newer right. one that's better for the channel. So of the things we pick for the channel, there's still things that we like. It's just sometimes you see something that catches your eye, but it's 10 years old and on sale. And you're like, wow, what a good deal for titanium. But you're like, I mean, and sometimes those are cool too. Because it's like a throwback and then you tell people about the sale and it's cool. But a lot of times it's, you know... We pick of the things we like that, uh, are, that yeah. make sense. Right. We pick the things that we like that make best sense for the channel. We like a lot of and stuff. And also, <laughs> we, yeah, we like a lot of stuff, too. So, um, also, there are times where, like, I I like the knife, right? But it's not. I'm not necessarily buying it for myself. I'm buying it because it's good for the channel. But it's also in a price range to where I can just get it. Do you know what I mean? Like a budget knife or something. Is that what the knife something. is? Bento box exclusive for PM2 K390? Okay, there we go. Bento box exclusive for PM2 and K390. Thank you for that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we still get knives that we like. It's just that it, we might avoid a knife we like because it's not good for the channel. That probably makes better sense. We still buy yeah. knives we like, but we'll avoid knives we like. Because we like, just because we like them, because it's not good for the Seems channel. logical that I wouldn't mind throwbacks. Sometimes it's cool to see a knife that's old, but I perspective agree. is new. You should start I doing agree. throwback Thursdays. Okay. Do it. Okay. Do it. Who's with me? You know, um. Who is with me? Do you know who really likes throwbacks? Me. JT's Knife Life. He loves the older knives. Like the older Kershaw's and CRKT's. He, like, and a lot of people don't. Like, they, they'll find out it's a really old model or something. They don't want nothing to do with Which it. He likes those. What? Which one is that? Kara House. This, oh, that was the um the Benchmade I tricked you with. But they don't know about that, so. They just know what you got. I thought that it was mine to keep, so let's just be. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and tell the story? Hey, Marshless! Oh, that was real. Yeah. Good timing. Thanks, I'm bud. I'm not going to forget this. Throwback Thursday is a great idea. Yes, Thank I, you. I agree. Let's keep talking about that. So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think I'm getting a knife because he said he was getting me a knife. And he kept saying he was getting me a knife specifically because I was like, I don't want a knife because you already got me a knife for Christmas. So, I want something else. Anyway, point is, is that, um... <laughs> Yeah, it's messed up because I actually really like that knife. I had handled it in a store before. I thought it was like so underrated. He put he wrapped, listen, he put listen. it with my stuff like wrapped up. <laughs> and so I see this benchmade box. I'm like, oh, this is really cool, right? I open it up and I'm like, no way. Like I was like, oh well, it needs a new edge. Like I saw that it was like had the scratches on it, but I didn't even care. I was like, he can put a new edge on it. We're good. And, like, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember how much I liked it. Like, the, the access lock is so easy on this one. That's why I liked it. I love the little wooden, wooden insert things on the thumb studs. And he goes, I'm just kidding. Your, your uh, present's actually under the couch. So then I'm thinking, like, I don't, no, this I isn't the no, 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 no. This isn't the I started story. saying, well, I don't want whatever knife is under the couch. I want this knife. I don't want that. I already am attached to this. I already had thought about what pants I was going to put it in. It yes, it did. And so he tells me to go That's up not on the how couch. It went. And then Guitar Hero's under there, which I was very happy about that. But I'm mad about that. Okay, so let, let's I get this. I wanted that thing. Let's get this straight really quick. There's nothing crooked for about weeks, what I just said. No, you said out everything right except for a couple things. For weeks, she. She had already told me she did not want a knife. Another right? knife. She did not. Let's be clear. She did not want. Right. She didn't want. Well, no. This was the thing. Was you already she already got one for me. Thing was, is you for this gift. Yes. You wanted like something specific, one. and you told me the gift yeah, you wanted. Yeah, you didn't get it. Right. But you thought I didn't. No, you didn't. No, remember? I did. You didn't get my zombie game. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you with the zombie game. The zombie game doesn't matter. The fucking other thing's five times as much. You can get the zombie game anytime, and you already know you can. I already got it. Oh I know, way. that's my point. You already got the game. So, the point was, was she wanted the fucking Guitar Hero, and she told me she wanted that, and she didn't and you want... you said no. She didn't when want I said a knife, right. So, I made her think she wasn't gonna get that. But then, um, I told her she got a knife. Right? Yeah, I, and so I readjusted I, my standards. I didn't say anything when you were talking. I'm trying to just finish the parts that you missed for them to catch them up. So she, 
I can't even think now. So I said that she got a knife. And but then I knew I had to trick her with a knife. Originally I was gonna do it with the Sabenza. But then I knew you wouldn't fucking believe that. You would know for sure that I didn't get you that a Sabenza. No. Because one, I wouldn't have been able to I afford it. I would have cried. And two, right. I would have cried. Right. You would have thought I was getting it for me. Right. Yeah. Right. And I knew you would call bullshit. So I had to use a knife that you would actually believe. Yeah. And the only and one I that did. I had that you would believe is the Saibu. But we were supposed to unbox this stuff. We were supposed to do presents on that couch. And something was supposed to fall and you were supposed to look under it and the fucking thing would be there. But we didn't. We wound up doing it across the room. So then I had to tell you, like, I know listen. you waited so long. No, I didn't. Yes, I didn't. you did. No, I didn't. No, I no didn't. you thought I was going to look at the blade and see it and be like, where'd you get this? Because it has scratches on no, it. No, it's not You like thought that. my face was no. going to look a certain way and so that I'd be all extra happy. No, no. But it backfired because when you said your actual gift is on the couch, I was like, I don't want that gift. I want this gift. Check this out. When I told now, her she got a knife, she chewed me out for two days. For two I days, did. she chewed me out. I told you what I wanted, and I told you I didn't this want a knife. The, this is the I thing. I told you I didn't want a knife. You two need to kiss and make up uh, <laughs> in a moment. So, uh, <laughs> the, here's the thing, guys, is that I said, he said, do you want a knife this year? This is after he already selfishly gave me a knife early so that he could put it on the channel. Um, <clears throat> by the way, so I didn't even get to wait till Christmas for my knife because he gave it to me early so that it could be posted in time. So I already told that, you that I know, I'm just repeating it. And so that happened first. And so then he, after that, because you know, he didn't have a present purchase for me, I don't think until like a couple of days before Christmas. And so he kept asking me after that about what I did I want a knife and I was like no you I don't want a knife I don't Christmas. want an expensive knife we have enough expensive knives like I have other things in my life that I like like I would rather you have to think about it and get me something you know and like something whatever Just I already something. knew she wasn't so, gonna want a knife because the last like four, three years, we've gotten each other. Well, nice I just, for I feel fulfilled. I and, don't, you know, there was nothing. And now she has this game, so I knew she was gonna want something with the game. I yeah. already knew that. So he keeps asking me what I want, what I want, what I want. And so finally, I start looking around online, trying to do my own shopping for myself. Um, and I see that. Dying Light has an anniversary edition of their game with every single DLC on it for like 30 bucks. And I was like, this is what I want. A $30 game. Yes. Right. This is the thing. And because uh, Guitar Hero has inflated their prices to like $350. It was crazy. So I saw that and I was like, oh, that would be fun. That's a game we can do together. And I'm like kind of a god at it. So, you know, <laughs> I was like, that would be that would be fun. But I was like, eh, it's too expensive. I want this Zambi game now. And uh, it was the only thing, the only word that hey, came Russ. out of my mouth for something I wanted. And she got, but she got so, the thing she wanted. He tells me that I, I looked at him one day and he's like, your presence in this drawer so I'm thinking, it's a knife. It, you got, And I, I asked you, I'm like, you got me a knife, didn't you? And you're like, yeah, I did. And I was like, what? I, and I said to him, and it was cold. I said, when you do things like that, you make me feel like that you are shopping for yourself and didn't want to have to think about me. Thanks, Casey. <laughs> and that's how it ended. Thank you. And then I readjust my expectations. So are you happy or and not? And get a knife that I actually, I am, but I'm upset about the side move. Oh, don't be. Because you got what you asked for. Okay. No. You got mad. I didn't get my Zambi game. <laughs> yeah, you got it on the that way, don't you? Is it not on the way? Who purchased it? Is it not on the way? Us. Me. Us. No, my grandma did actually. <laughs> <laughs> she loved me. <laughs> okay, kiss now. We're done. Um, but no, it was a, a great Christmas though, and I think we both got what we wanted, which was fantastic. Oh wait. And of other things, so what was that? This. I think I was Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see now. Anyways. Thank um, you, Casey. How was everyone's Christmas? <laughs> our, our Christmas was great. Uh, we went and spent time with the family, and then... Uh, oh, Christmas. is that what that was? That was to get me to... Yeah, yeah, that was to get you to stop freaking out. Because you're a little hey, hysterical. Daddy, woo -woo. You're a little hey, hysterical. Daddy, woo -woo. Will you be doing Casey's sticker? Yeah, I did! Oh, oh I see, I see. 
Um, okay, but what are you guys wanting for New Year's? I don't think we do gifts. I don't think we do New Year's. We we're going to be going and... Do uh, people do New Year's gifts? Is that a thing? No, we're going to do fireworks. I feel like that's like I being like, what do you want for Easter? You How know? about a sea hunter? It's, it's a, a Zambi Zambi knife. It's a Zambi knife. <laughs> you have to say Zambi. Um, no, I'm good on that. Thank you, though. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand, like, the thing with that. I know it's a kind I know of it's a like a joke. I, you know, but. it kind of reminds me of, like, the mermaid knife. Like, it's a little overdone, the joke. Yeah. You know, so, like, kind of when I hear of it, I'm just kind of like, <laughs> You yeah. know, like, I'm not like, oh. <laughs> I think the Dalek is hilarious, though. The Dalek is still hilarious. Yeah, that's fun. But, you know, they get old after a while. Like, no offense to Metal Complex, but, you know... It's every time, you know, and even uh, Blade HQ, in one of their things, their um, little title sequences, they like have the knife coming out what of the water and it's that. With, what did it have to do with Mount Complex? Isn't that his unboxing knife? No. The Lady of the Sea? No, that was a long time ago. He's had a new unboxing knife for a long time. I know, but that was like his thing for a very long time. He, yeah, it was, you're right. Yeah, that wasn't the, the that wasn't the Z Hunter though. I said it's kind oh, of kind like of the like, mermaid like, oh, knife. What are you I just see. listening to this and not my voice? I guess. Jeez. Um, yeah, the Boca Mermaid. Um because it didn't uh, another knife brand make that knife too though? Like the same exact one. Boker like, did and then there was another the, I think somebody M-tech, made it. M-tech. Yeah, but M-tech. didn't somebody make it actually nice? Or Boker. They made it like in the nice materials. Well, I don't know, nice, but nicer. Nicer than Hemtech for damn sure. Wait, that's not a rock set. Thought it was a rock set, you know but a rock set is shinier. Rock sets are known for their shiny mirror finishes. Only rock set seems to accomplish that rock set shine. Do you know what sucks about doing this on here? What is that? I I keep wanting to do to that. touch it. Yeah, well done. I know, it Just sucks. Don't. It doesn't suck. Um, Boker is the nicest. I think you will get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Probably. I, I wouldn't get a knife. Like I got that the first mermaid one. in Secret Santa. Oh my gosh! I bet somebody was like, "Russ is a knife guy." I have Russ is my Secret Santa person, so I'm gonna get him a really cool knife. And yeah. then they probably thought it was badass. You know, like, look at this rainbow metal. It's kind of <laughs> like all those rainbow metal knives. Do you remember like like the Kershaw leak? They did that in the rainbow metal. They did, they did a bunch of knives in that rainbow metal. And when it I first when came I out, that was cool. I, well, I never thought it was cool. I always thought it was gaudy, but I do remember when it was it. in, right? When it was mm-hmm. in. Like, um, a lot of knives came out like that. I used to think they were so ugly, but people actually liked them. Yeah, because they were cool. Because it was like metal. I understand why. I understand why. But I always just thought it was ridiculous. But uh, it's kind of like the, you know, it's kind of like the chameleon paint job, you know, which I think is still pretty cool. But when the chameleon paint job came out like that, that was expensive as shit. But that's oh. kind of what the color looks like. One minute knife review said my wife knows better than to try to get me a knife. Oh, you don't even pretend to like them when she tries? Oh, That's you, sad. Yeah, you should at least pretend. That's so sad. Oh, my God. She probably gave you one and Would then you, you were like... Thank you. And then tears rolling down your face at the same time. She's How much like, did you pay for this? How much, baby? <laughs> baby, don't do not do that again. Don't, just don't. He said, LOL, of course I did. Oh, no. No, what you want to do is you want to present 10 knives to her that you actually like. And then, you, then you'll then you still be surprised because you won't know what you want. Yeah. That's how you get them to That's get you the you knife you it. want. Because no matter what, you'll be happy with any of those knives. No, I, okay, so the rainbow knife thing, I remember I was like 12 when I thought that was cool. Just to preface, I remember when that was like a big thing. That was probably like, okay, when I was 12, it was like 2005 or something. So I remember... When that started being a thing, and you saw them in the gas stations and the malls, and I never got one, but I remember being like, if I ever get a knife, I'm gonna get one of those. Yeah. Do you know what else might be a good idea? Dry <laughs> skin on my face. If you were a girl, or like a if wife. If you were, if I was a girl. No, I'm saying. I am. I'm saying for a female, for yes. a wife or a girlfriend, to have like, um, like say if you're part of the knife community or whatever, to have one of the other knife friends choose the knife or help choose the knife like say like oh, yeah if you like say if um slicey dicey's wife right wanted to get slicey a knife then like she contacts say she nick shabazz watches right videos, probably what and she watches videos i mean he probably he's showing knives he already has them but he not probably a... talks about stuff he likes yeah but that doesn't mean she understands it and i'm not saying she doesn't i'm saying what th- yeah. this is, this is I, just... I tried to do that that's what i did the first time it didn't work out did it I thought it was great. 
So it wound up leading me down a path of that Reptilians? Knife. Yeah. Yeah. But at first, though, I hated it. Not that knife. No, you're not understanding me. I I'm understand. saying the Griptilian before that. I know. I didn't like it. But you said you didn't like the blade shape, so I switched it that, for yeah, you. Yeah, that's what it was. It was the blade shape. And I didn't even know that it came in other blade shapes until after that. That's why I opened your eyes. That's what I just said, yeah. Your is that stupid your, is that your phone, phone is going off. Oh, no, that's probably phone? so loud to them. Did you guys hear that? They can <laughs> hear it. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck it. Um, Rockstead is bad. It's bad for cuts, for sure. I'm still trying to get the feeling back on my finger. Who? Literally who? I literally, when I touch right here... I feel it up here. Literally, like when I rub back and forth, I can feel myself rubbing my thumb back and forth up here. If I touch it like that, I feel myself you feel touching it on the right tip here. Of your dick? No. Oh. Um, but if I touch that same spot, I can't feel it. There's no feeling from here to here at all. Like I could literally probably do surgery on myself. <laughs> what um, if you could feel it in the tip of your dick? That'd be weird. That'd be really weird. I'd, baby, and you're like baby, going like baby, this. <laughs> rub my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Every time, uh, <laughs> every time you were mad, you just smack my yeah, finger. Yeah, I'll just kick you right <laughs> oh! in the nuts. <laughs> PM2 is going to look so nice after the K390 takes patina. I don't know if I want the K390 to patina, though. You could just um, give it to titty patina. Because I'll probably... <laughs> I'll probably keep it dry and keep it uh, somewhat away from uh, corrosives, but... I don't know if this is if that's what always happens to you because it seems I feel like I already see it happening, which is crazy. I don't think so, but uh, I don't mind if it does. Uh, maybe it will look badass, especially with this micarta. This is some badass micarta. Maybe even because uh, man, I bet you'd look really good in titanium. I've always thought all the titanium uh, PM twos looked fire as fuck. Ow. But man, this thing is just so comfortable. Michael, I am a PT. What? Oh, a physical therapist. Oh, badass. Um, I thought you were talking about the game PT. You ordered a mini sheepdog in 4V? They make a mini sheepdog in 4V? I yeah. didn't even know that. I did. I know you did. Yes, I did. Yeah. I saw it somewhere. What? No. It's <laughs> okay. I'm not lying, I is knew it, that. Is it the frame lock or liner version? It is the frame lock. Micarta or titanium? It's a frame lock. It's, frame it's the frame lock. Version? The, it's the it's the it's the uh, shit one now. It's the liner lock. Oh, I see. I see where you're going. To Micarta. <laughs> in my titanium. It's a knife center exclusive. It's sick. Is yeah. It, is it yeah, a liner it lock? That's where I saw it. Or uh, titanium. That's where I saw it. It's My K390 Ladybug is still perfect. I live in Vegas, though, so corrosion isn't the thing. Yeah, we. I mean, our knives don't really corrode here too bad, and I usually keep them pretty dry. But during the winter, I guess, is the best chance you're going to have of them corroding. Um, I seen a thing on uh, Michael Christie. He was talking about his K390. I think he has an Andela Endura and a, uh, um, uh, not the Dalek, what the hell is that thing called? The other one? Wait. Never mind. I'm sorry. But, I'm and just... he was talking about how the Endura had... Wait, Naf Surgeon is a former member of Blade HQ? I'm so confused. Really? Ben, you can't say that. You're not supposed to acknowledge your existence as a... Wait, Ben? Ben, that's not Ben. I'm so confused! Anyways, um, so he was talking about his K390 and how they did one run of it with like a, a high HRC, and then they did another run, I don't know which one, if it was the Andela, um, that had, or no, no, I think it was, I don't remember which night he said it was on, I gotta rewatch it, I didn't watch the whole thing. Bye Casey. I didn't have time. Bye Casey, thank you for coming, and thanks for the donations. Um, but he said that one was done with a high HRC, and one was done with, with a little bit of a lower HRC, but he said it really didn't matter. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see how this one turns out. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, everyone thinks Naf Surgeon is Ben now. So, uh. Yeah, I don't know why. He, what he, is he, up, guys? That's he, MC. That's why his logo is blue. He has said that it is not him. It is. 100%. That's oh. why his logo is blue. Okay. Why would his logo be blend, Ben Blue? Okay. Blue, blend blue. <laughs> All right. Um, I heard most of the new K390 is in 66 to 67 HRC. Hell yeah. That's bad ass. Um, I will, uh, 
Definitely be doing some <laughs> testing on it because I'm really curious to see what the big hype is on it, especially after sharpening, because I really want to uh, feel how keen I can get um, this out. I'm actually, definitely going to do a video all about K390. Uh, uh, seems Logical is actually uh, Nick Shabazz, so... I mean, sorry, Nick, what? I didn't want to... What'd you say? I didn't want to put you out there like that, but I think it's time that people know. <clears throat> Somebody's going to run around saying that Needs and I have said that now. It's gonna... clearly the truth. Nick Shabazz is Mr. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you Nick live close to Seems close. Logical, Russ? That's awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. Benjamin, think we that was the older police, 66, 60, yeah, maybe that's what he was talking about, the police. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was, because he, like I said, I didn't finish it. I got to watch just some of it before I had to stop, and we went eight, so I didn't get to see much of it. Do you think people think that this is a book of knives? No. Well, somebody just asked what it is. It's a book of gems galore. Real gems. I want to go to one of the dark pages. I like the dark pages. They always show off the gems in such a beautiful way. Sorry, I've been collecting rocks since I was five. They're part of my hey. YouTube. I love rocks and that type of stuff. Same. Um, Just like natural materials. I love that type of stuff. I've always been like fascinated with it. So... She yeah, got they me have this book every a while back. Single, yeah, you've never even read it. Yes, I've been through that book a hundred times. Really? Yes. I've never once seen you crack it open. I bet you only stay on this page with all the hose. That's, that's the hose you can barely see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Collecting gemstones, both both cut and uncut. I used to sell lots of them. I used to buy and <laughs> sell them. Buy. Um, cut and non-cut. Um, Does that get your rocks off? That was good. That was good. That was Breeze. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Trivia time almost. You want to just go for it? I mean... Speaking of rocks, <laughs> what you smoking on? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Um, we could, yeah. Um, fluorite. Wait, damn it, I'm losing it. Make nice materials for scales. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of materials that I think, because, you know, I noticed um, some of those uh, composite companies or whatever taking different stones and then, like, infusing them in certain types of woods and then, you know, putting the, the resin over it. And they come out pretty badass looking. I seen a badass carbon fiber earlier on uh, Instagram. It blew me away the way it looked. I never seen one like that. I have a few crystals that can kill fire breathing dragons. Probably meth. <laughs> okay. I love being able to spin. It's very nice. Instead of like moving around on my stool. Pop quiz. And the pop quiz. Why does it feel like there's less cards in here? I forgot to talk about in the um the unboxing of this knife, this thing is so comfortable in the hand. It is so comfortable. Well, it wasn't a review, so. I know. But, man, this thing okay. is comfortable. We are leaving off. What are you going to leave off? Well, I'm saying where we left off last time. Oh, you already know? Yeah, I was left off in the same spot. Oh, okay. Alright. Here we go. Um, what time is it? Where's the time? It's 8.30. 8.30? Okay, 30 minutes. Okay. We're going to get off at 9. So we're going to do some trivia. It's not for any prize because we always get it wrong and someone says, I was first, and it becomes a thing. So it will be for fun. Uh, I will try to call out who gets it first each time. Try not to fight each other. I know this trivia gets serious. And also, I don't think you're on Venus here, so you guys actually have a chance to <laughs> Uh, all Watch right. him pop in right now. I'll be like, trivia? nope. He has like, a, like the Batman signal for tri or yeah. the Spidey senses for trivia. They thought so, motherfuckers. All right, so, uh, man, they were just caught. Can you just show the rock? I just did. did I, was just, really? I was just top flipping it and everything. I was front flipping it. Okay. If they missed it, do you, is it me, or do you keep seeing this blue down here and thinking that it's, like, highlighted? I think all kinds of shit. I'm never, we've never done this with this, so. Pewdie. That's why I'm like, where the fuck is the time? Where's this? What's this? 
Well, I, I mean, keep wanting to touch everything it. Everything else is pretty much in a normal computer no, spot. I know, but it's just different because, like, for me to scroll up now, I got to come down have here. A message. What do you mean? What are you doing? I don't know. Computer things, things that people with a computer do, right? I think. Okay. All right. Ready, guys. Question number one. Which sea lies between Africa and Europe? Do you know? You're asking them. I know, but do you know? Which sea lies be between Africa and Europe? Uh-huh. Should I just try? You can try. Um, I'll go with the... Don't look over there at them Oh, I know. Okay, I can't see it from here. Um... I have no idea, so, first of all. So, Zo Roaster definitely got it right first, and then One Minute Night Review breathes. It's a sea, not an ocean. Oh, yeah. Um, I have no idea. Did you guys the, know? The, the Nile? The Mediterranean. Uh-huh. Okay, so did That's you guys know? That's a river, anyways. That's a river. Yes, the it Nile is. <laughs> I say not ocean, and you go straight to river Rivers, and skip yeah. right over well, I was thinking <laughs> Africa, so I was thinking, what's in Africa? What's uh, in Africa? I think the Congo is in Africa. Yeah. Okay, so, guys, did you know that there is a sea called the Kara Sea? The Kara Sea? It's actually the Kara Sea, but it's spelled K-A-R-A. All right. And it's, like, in the Arctic. It's up way up in the Arctic. Nobody knows about it. And it's called the Kara Sea. Yep. I used to have a globe when I was a kid, and I found that shit real quick. Anyway, question <laughs> number two. I don't know if... I'm going to ask this one because I just want to know if anyone knows because this question means nothing to me and it's going to mean nothing to you, but maybe somebody out there knows. If you guys don't know, then we will move on. Question. Which Arthur Miller play features the character Abigail Williams? Fuck I know, right? That's what I thought. I want to know if anyone just happens to know. Oh, that was the Spartan Harsey? What? Wait. Denial is not a river. Denial. <laughs> Denial. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Bears beat Battlestar Galactica. Seems logical. Random I know one. this one. Everyone's okay, then say it. Arrowhead Alright, next question. <laughs> it was the cable car one? I don't know. It's called the uh, the Crucible. Is that really genuinely what you were thinking of? Hell no, he's lying. It's on the tip of my tongue. He's lying. I don't know anything about any plays. I'm not a play person. You're right. a player? Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, this one I know. What name is given to the pictorial language s system associated with ancient Egyptians? Yes, you do. Uh, read it again. <laughs> what name is given to the pictorial language system associated with ancient oh, Egyptians? Oh, hy hieroglyphics or whatever. Were you about to say hydraulics? No, hy <laughs> hieroglyphics. Yeah, and and who got it right? One minute knife review, and then Breeze again, and then Mr. Ed 209 with a close third place. Um, right that right. first. Probably not, though. You know what's weird is I always hear people say hieroglyphs. And I always thought it was hieroglyphics. Okay. And it says hieroglyphics on here, but I always hear people say hieroglyphs. Like, even in, like, educational things. I always hear that. I always feel like I hear um, hieroglyphics. Dumb these questions down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You should be good at this one. Okay. What's the longest river in the USA? <laughs> in the U.S.? Yeah. Mississippi. Okay, you're going to have to start doing, like, a 10-second delay before you answer. Okay. So that they can, like, answer first. Wait. And Breeze with the answer, Mississippi. <laughs> Oregon Knife Guy seems logical with a close third. I should be an announcer. And in first place, we have Breeze Redford, Palmer, Oregon What's Knife What's the longest Knife in the Knife world? I think the Congo. Are you sure? No. I think it might be the Nile. Well, now <laughs> I sure. have to know. I'm pretty sure it's the Nile. Now I have to take a quick, the more you know moment. All right, what's the longest river in the world? Okay. Longest. Man, this thing looks so badass with this new tie scale. World. Oops, I accidentally typed in penis. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that thing looks so sweet. Ooh, apparently there's a discrepancy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Well, as oh, long as Nile. my Nile's on, then we're okay. Is the it's Nile between on the, there? I think it's between the Nile, Nile and, and the Amazon. So I'm right. No, because they're having a fight over the definition of what makes it longer. Okay. Um, Is it length? Because if it's length, then I win. Extends 6,695 miles. The oh, two, or one's deeper or something. The two longest rivers in the world flowing into the Mediterranean. Okay. Is the Nile, and then the Amazon flowing into the South Atlantic, which is longer, is more a matter of definition than simple measurement. Okay. So they're arguing over basically, let's see, um, the Amazon has several mouths which widen toward the sea, so the exact point where the river ends is uncertain. If the par estuary, the most distant mouth, is counted, its length is approximately 6,750, and the Nile is only 6,660. So, technically speaking, the Amazon could be longer. Yeah, you won against me. I said the Congo. I was incorrect. Okay. Well, you see, Bob. You see, Bob. It's like this. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay. I'll take... Four and a half to six hundred, Alex. Oh, I got it. Oh, I like to buy a These guys. I know. These guys are funny as hell. Okay. Um, Bob, you see, Bob, I'd like ooh, to buy a vowel. In which <laughs> state was the first Dunkin' Donuts founded? Ohio. It's an East Coast thing. Okay. So I just narrowed it I down. just guessed. <laughs> I just <laughs> threw it out there. All right, I'll let these guys go since I fucked it all up. And they got a hint. Yeah, that. Breeze. Breeze is really a secretly. He's a sleeper in trivia. He is a sleeper. He's a trivia sleeper, man. Matt's the tr- I love how all you guys Probably typed mass to be faster. The Great Wallaby was a close second. Probably Googling this in shit. In a state of confusion. Okay, that's the winning answer. The only that's people hilarious. who can't cheat here is us. You cheating motherfuckers. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go Mr. ahead. Mr. Ed, you got that first? Where? Did you put it in real time? Yeah, we're on live chat. You see, it says it at the top. I don't even see it. Unless he's fucking with me because I said people always say That's that. That's just saying live chat. Yeah, I That's switched it. Sa- okay, okay, you switched it. That's what that says. It doesn't always say that. It says top chat. Regardless, it's not no competition. Mr. Ed got it first. I don't even see his answer. And it's bothering me. Mr. Ed, you never hit enter. <laughs> he did get it first. Oh, way ahead of you guys. Wait. Damn! How? Messed you guys That was up. what... He, I feel like... Did he... It seems like he answered before I asked the question. <laughs> Holy cow! He's zooming Is in he on here? the cards. <laughs> Probably flip the card in front of him. Yeah, something. Something's up, Mr. Ed. Okay, um, who did Ellen DeGeneres marry in 2008? I don't know this one. Yes. This do you know favorite. her last name? Portia. Literally, I said, do you know her last name? And you go ahead and say the answer. Well, I don't know. How the fuck would I know her last it name? It was because they want the full answer. So if you guys say Portia, I'm not counting it. I just know because it's my favorite car. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm gonna count Mr. Ed's because I know that was quickly typing, but he's right. It's what is that? Portia De Rossi. De Rossi? Yeah, I, he said it says the De Rossi. De Rossi. <laughs> that oh, that one girl. Hey, Mark. Boom! Sorry to hit and run. I'm packing as we speak. Moving to our new home. Hope everyone holidays were awesome. Thanks, Mark, for Thanks, stopping Mark. by. Thanks, Mark. And I hope your holiday on the sixth sixth of January is awesome. Oh, your your aunt knew that. De Rossi. There you go. Of course she did. Okay. Of course she did. Uh, oh, okay, here's a good one. Here's a good one. This is kind of a history one. Who was the first person to complete a solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean? Uh, oh. Um. I know Ed is the new Q1 fiend. That's what I was thinking too. A solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean? I don't know, but I know I've heard it. Mr. So. Ed! Dang. Who was I it? wish Q1 was Fiend it? was here so we could have them face off. Who was it? Uh, uh, Charles A. L- Lindbergh. Okay. 
Yeah. Because I know I've heard it before. Uh, let's see who else got it. Michael Morgan got it. Mostly folders. A bit of everything got it. Seems logical. Let me step forward so I can read these two. I can't see them yes. back here. Emilio, yes, correct. Seems Seagulls! Emilio, <laughs> Emilio was the first woman. Everyone always gets that. that Technically, I think the Oregon knife guy was the right one. Oh, damn. He fucked everybody up funny, with that one. Seagulls! <laughs> well, uh, Somebody else would be like pterodactyls. No, no I, I said first person, so oh, unless okay. seagulls are all of a sudden people, you're wrong. Yeah, I guess. Um, okay. What was the name of the space flight that first landed a man on the moon? What was the space flight? The name of it. So like Apollo 13 or something? Yeah, what number? I mean, everyone pretty much knows it's the Apollo. Was it Apollo 4? Mr. Ed! I mean, Bree said Apollo, Apollo but you have to say the number because there's so many Apollo. So it is the Apollo 11. Zorosta came in a second. Everyone else just said Apollo until you get down to Troy and... Houston, we have a problem. Halt. And nice guy. Okay. It was Apollo 11, Apollo 13 was the one that blew up. No, yes. uh, was it Apollo 13 that blew up? I thought yes. Apollo 13 was the one that, that did make it back. No, Apollo 13, yeah, Apollo 13 didn't blow up. No, they made it back. They were the first persons to ever, I think, yeah. say, Houston, we have a problem out in yeah, space. Yeah, because they, uh, yes, they were, they had the... That was the one with Tom Hanks. They, what they did is they, made a movie they basically weren't going to be able to fuel themselves back to the Earth. So what they did is they, you know... Did a bunch of math stuff, astrophysics -y math, and figured out how to use the gravity of the moon to slingshot themselves to orbit the moon and use the gravity to slingshot themselves back to Earth. And that, um... Houston, we have yes, a problem. Yes, Tom Hanks did make it to space. Yep. Little known fact. All right. What is the name of the green pigment found in plants that is responsible for absorbing light? Do you remember this from no, high school? No, I do not. The name of the green pigment. It's what makes leaves green. Uh, it flows through their veins, and it, it makes them responsible for absorbing light. Boom, these guys remember high school. Zoroaster, chlorophyll, uh, nebucloud with a close second, and Mr. Ed with a close third. Chlorophyll? Chlorophyll. Oh, wow. Not chloroform. Right, right. <laughs> I got that. I got that. I felt like you were thinking of chloroform. Okay. Here's one for all you alcoholics. The mojito cocktail originates from which country? Mexico. Mojito. No? Mojito? No. Why would you think that? I'm just kidding. What was it? Was that right? Well, hold on, let's see. Cuba. Breeze Ratchford Cuba. with the answer Cuba. Mr. Ed with a close second. Cuba. Seems logical with the answer beer, which... He's the true alcoholic here. If he answered beer to that question. That's uh, <laughs> where did the mojito come from? Beer? <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah, going to get a beer was, right now. It was definitely I need beer. another beer. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to start reading these like an announcer. More bore, Phil. <laughs> More like Borathil. All right, here's one for all you cooks out there. One ingredient is added to bread to make it rise. Do you want me to answer? No. Okay. I know you know the answer. Okay. Boom! Breeze! Mr. Ed Second. You know how I should have read it? Troy Jones. This is how I should have read it. Mostly folders. You know how I read it. What? I should have. I'm going to start adding things to these questions. I'm going to be like, what ingredient is added to bread to make it rise? Also, commonly known as an infection, common in women. <laughs> 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 I'm going to start doing that. All right. Okay, guys. Oh, my goodness. Guys, this is the hardest one I've seen all day. Okay, I'll just sit back then. You. <laughs> I will be impressed if you know this. Ugh. I will. Yeah. I'll just just go ahead. Okay. How many letters are there in the English alphabet? Oh fuck. Do you know? In the English alphabet? Yeah. Cuz I was A B C D. I was being sarcastic. Yeah, I know that one. Whisper it in my ear. <laughs> I had to the double check. Breeze with the answer first, Mr. Ed with second, Oregon night guy with close third. It was 26. See, I thought you were being serious. And I thought you were going to no, say, like, uh, I don't know why. I, I just, like, went left when you started uh, 
asking the question because you made it seem like it was I know, because so you were hard. like, oh, fuck. And I'm like, wait, do you really? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, out of, like, all languages or something. I don't know. How many letters are in the so, Arabic alphabet? Right, which are something not even like that. Letters. Right, right. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, oops, how did this one get mixed in? We've done that once. Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, go for it. I'm going to add something to it. Also known as a common phrase, according to fr Proverbs, what does the devil make work for? What is the what? The devil make work for? Yeah, it's also a common phrase. That's me adding that in. It's a really common phrase. Read it again. Boom! Mostly folders and a big of bits of everything. Oh, I see. Knife I see. nut in a close second and one minute knife from you with a close third. Idle hands are the devil's playground. That was the phrase. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rosh Hashanah is a festival celebrated in which religion? What the fuck did you just say? Rosh Hashanah is a festival celebrated with which religion? Oh no. Yes, you do. Rosh Hashanah. Don't you remember seeing that, like, in school as, like, a holiday? Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah? Yeah, we used to get that around here because we have a big Jewish population. Oh, Jewish? <laughs> yeah, I said that because the Great Wall, we got it right first, and then Zarosa with a close second, and nobody with third place yet. Well, I guess Islam kind of counts. No, it doesn't. No. No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. It doesn't I, I read that wrong in my head. I read it as a... Uh, uh, Hebrew? Well, no. I was thinking Israel, which is not... Islam. Next! <laughs> okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We've already done that one before. What? Here's another history question, guys. What was the name of the man who shot Abraham Lincoln in a theater? I just added the part in a theater to show that I am smart and I know it's where it funny occurred. When I, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because when I hear his name, I know who Oh, yeah, is. you know what? Yeah. Let's get the first, middle, and last name, people. John. We have, like, all the pieces. Ronan is the closest so far. Okay, seems logical is the first to write it out completely. Ronan said Jay Wilkes Booth. A lot of you guys knew the answer clearly. Um, but, yeah, John Wilkes Booth. At, okay, bonus question. Where was Abraham Lincoln shot? Where he shot it? You did. Oh, I didn't. He said in a theater. Yeah. Where on his body? I should be more oh, specific. Oh, oh. Where on his body was he shot? I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, Mr. Ed, see, Mr. Ed got me. He got me. And then see, Ronan was just covering all bases, said theater in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Cover all my bases. Okay. What state was it? Was it, do you know? And what state Pennsylvania? is... Is it Illinois? Oh, Land was it? Of, Land of Lincoln. Well, I know. Like, I don't know. I'm guessing because he, he you was know, it in Illinois. He is from Illinois. So. Why did I think Pennsylvania? I don't know. Or was, I don't know. I'm not positive. I'm just saying the Land you know of Lincoln. What? Let's not ask questions we, don't, we don't know, know. the answers to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ready for the next one? District of Columbia, Washington D.C. Or was it? I don't know. Or no, it was a southern state. Maybe, yeah, because you probably traveled. Next one. Look what you did. I know we fucked no, up. No, no, no. We can't leave the people hanging. This is ridiculous. Okay, so what state was Lincoln shot in? Washington D.C. So not started. even a state. So there is no state. You asked a trick question. Washington, D.C. is not a state. It's a district. All right. Ready? Yep. What are you doing right now? Are you rap Wait, setting I'm waiting. Up? Okay. Which, you're distracting my announcer voice. Which movie contains the line? Next question. Which movie contains the line? I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. I don't think they say that part. I'm going to make him an offer. He, he can't refuse. Why am I doing a Russian accent? All right, Andrew Tool with the first correct answer, Mr. Ed in second, and Ronan Graves in a close third. The answer is the Godfather. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, you should know this one. Do, ve <laughs> Do veins carry blood toward the heart or away from it? Do veins carry blood towards the heart or away from both? No. 
Okay. No, to no, it. no. To it. No, no, no. To the heart. Okay, the answer is towards the heart. Trick, or not trick question, bonus question. What part of the body carries the blood away from the heart? Can I answer? Sure. The arteries. Yes! Ronan got it before you. Well, oh, not yeah, before you, but... Yeah, not before me. And then Joshua, and then Fish, 705. Yes, so veins go towards, arteries go away. That's why it's very dangerous if you accidentally inject cut inside of an artery. Or if you get an artery cut. Yeah, not fun. All right. <laughs> uh, how many sides does a heptagon have? A heptagon? A heptagon. I don't know this one. Ten? That's a decagon. Twelve. No, that's a... Something a thicker gun. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, okay. It's a Rosta with number one. Mostly folders in a bit of everything. Number two, and Andrew to Andrew to Tool. Andrew Tool. <laughs> with it's hard to be an announcer, okay? With a close Oh, you're trying to third. do the voice. Yes. Andrew Tool! Yeah, it was hard. You came in a close The answer third. was seven. The answer was seven. Okay. What? This is a easy one. This is stupid. What breed of shark was the shark from Jaws? Stupid, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I the next one. Everybody what if someone's like Hammerhead? <laughs> <laughs> it was that a tiger shark? Pterodactyl? <laughs> was that a turkey? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Great black shark. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Moving on. All right. The big one. <laughs> In what TV show do the main characters attempt to get a bottle of McDonald's Szechuan sauce? How do you say that word? Check, check. Szechuan sauce. Szechuan sauce. Boom, a roaster. I knew that if somebody Lordy. watches this show that they would know the answer because if you watch that show, you like know it. Yeah. Mostly I was going to say, everything with Nebu Cloud with a close third. Yeah, it was Rick and Morty. Okay. Next. In Celsius degrees, at what temperature does water boil? I do Fahrenheit. I don't know. We know mo most people here probably do. That's why it's hard. Okay. Um, Boom! Fish 705, Andrew Tool, and Mr. Ed with a close third. Wow. Wow. I think zero seems logical is they're freezing. Zero degree, which makes sense. That's why Celsius is the more, like, um, sensical version of... Think about that. Shouldn't zero be freezing? Yeah. Our system is so dumb. Why is 32, 32 freezing? All right, all right. It's That's stupid. True. That's true. It's so stupid. Okay. Uh, righty. So 100 degrees is boiling and zero is makes freezing? Makes sense, right? It does. We're it so does. dumb. We are dumb, ain't we? All right. Who was the ancient Greek goddess of love? And you may be thinking me, but that is not actually historically accurate. I know you um, were going to say me for sure, right? Oh, of course. The Greek goddess of love? Yeah, yeah I know. All I mean, right. You're not Greek, but... The Native American goddess of love. All right. We have mostly folders and a bit of everything with the answer. At first place, seems logical. Second, and Mr. Ed. Nope, not Mr. Ed. I'm sorry. Cult. FSJ with a close third. It is Aphrodite. Yeah. Who was the god of war? Wasn't it? Oh, Zeus. Nope. Yeah. Ares. Oh, Ares, you are right. Zeus, what was Zeus? He was like the king of all gods. The yeah, god he was like the god of Lightning. gods. Um, yeah, it was Ares, you're right. I took a Norse mythology class one time with, like, Loki and those dudes in it. Uh -huh. We just did the Greek mythology class in sixth grade. And Ares was, like, my favorite one. So. Alrighty. Ooh, I know this one because I used to have a mad crush on this guy back in the day. Oh my god, yes I did, and now he looks so creepy now. Oh, Alright, who is the lead singer of Guns N' Roses? <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. We got everything you want, but honey, we know the name. And Andrew Tool. Tool got it first with Breeze in second, and Troy Jones in third. And now I'm gonna do the fun part. Ha! Seems logical, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Oh yeah, funny. I did not have a crush on Mr. Bean. Okay. 
All right, which, oh, I know this one. What country, I always have to say that when I know the answer. Why? I have to let everyone I know, know this I know one. Yeah. I know this one. Yeah, make sure you let everybody know. You would do it too if you're And you know what's funny, though? Because you get excited. You're like, oh my it's god, that I know you do know them all. Because you got the answer in your hand. Listen, I don't read backwards, okay? I read it from the beginning. So I don't see the answer till I get there. Is it upside there. down? No, I'm saying, like, I start reading. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know this one. And then I'm like, yep, I'm right. Yeah, okay. And I verify it. I, I'm okay. guessing you look at the answer first. Go what on. country is home to Machu Picchu? And I know I know it because I know how to say it. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu? Yeah, not Pikachu, Pichu. Uh, read what the country? Though. Oh, this 705 already got that shit. Damn. And then Don Maximo with a close second and Andrew 2 with a close third. The Peru! Peru! Which is close to Chile! All right. <laughs> Chile! <laughs> Chile! <laughs> How are people answering before the question is being read? Uh, you may need to refresh your feed refresh there, your pal. Feed. Exit out, come back in. Sometimes live videos are notorious for getting a little off. So, yeah, just cancel out and come back in. Yeah. So, close out the page and come back in. You should be fine. Ooh, I did not know this one, but I feel oh, like... Of course not. I feel like maybe someone might. So, what are the last names of the two feuding families in Romeo and Juliet? Which I know a lot of people had to probably read this in school, so they might, somebody might know. I never read it. I've seen the, like the, the movie, but not like the real one. The fake one. Boom! Seems logical! Cassie didn't know this, so... I should know this, but I've blocked it out. Yeah, it seems logical. So far, as the only one who got both of them is Capulet and Montague. Montague. Uh, Mr. Ed was close. He got the first one. Yeah. I knew that was going to be a smaller audience of uh, answers. Oh, Whoa. what are you saying? Was, was that, you was that a burn? Seems that logical? sounded like a burn. Because, you just said. no, look, seems logical over here is like, I know Shakespeare. Unlike you two fucking idiots, I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Next one. Okay. Um What brand of frozen waffles is a is the favorite of elevens in Stranger Things? Um I mean it's kinda of, you don't even have to show same, to know the no, answer. No, 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 it's that one. It's the, the, the one the most popular yeah. one, yeah. Boom! Lego the Maya great Wallaby in first and Maximo in second and Fitch 705 with the close first. I think I think if you ask like anybody though, like I, um, I said you don't even need What's to the, the best show. waffle company? Lego Maya yeah. Ego. Because of the commercials. Which actress starred as the title character in Captain Marvel? What was the actress's name? I do not know that. Me either. I'm not really good with pop culture Me stuff. Me either. Well, I mean, I am, but not, I'm just... I initially started typing Lego, because Lego my ego. He <laughs> he. Uh, Brie Larson. Nice job, Andrew. Brie Larson. Somebody must be a fan. Someone, okay, Mr. Ed. All of you don't like her. All of you says, fuck that <laughs> bitch. Uh, okay. I can tell Mr. Her. Ed is typing fast. That I like it. I like Mr. the Ed's effort. Good. Yeah. I know, he wants to get first, and I love it. I would yeah. be the same way. It's also when the, when you have a couple people on here that, that are, are actually like, trying, trying to yeah. be beat the shit out of everyone. Yeah. I love it. It makes this fun. She's freaking annoying. I just know my actors. I've never been a good with actors. I cannot, to this day, ever get Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise's names right. Uh, I know now because, like, Jared, I think, has made some comments about it. How many right, people we only are gonna, in here? I'm just curious. Uh, 53. We are only going to do this for a few more minutes because we were going to stop at 9. It's 8.58, so I will ask two more questions and then we'll wind down here. All right. Um. Let's... Okay. She got a flat booty. <laughs> okay. Oh, baby, this is your question. Oh, fuck. Nick Carter and AJ McLean were members of which boy band? And I know you know that's the sad thing. That, that is a sad thing, but you I don't do like know. it, though. You I know. As like soon it. as I said it, you were like, boom! Is it in sync? No, that's what Andrew said, too. Oh, then it's I um, think Colt, Backstreet Boys. Yeah, I think Colt technically got it, I just, yeah, but I, Dan Maximo did BSB. Like, he must be a super fan for doing the abbreviation like I don't that. know, like, the differences. I just remember when I was in school, they were very popular. Well, and, you had sisters. Well, that's not why, though. It was because... <laughs> You're like, I, no, I loved them. When, that's no, why. when I was in school, it was very popular, and I hated them so much. I couldn't stand the music. And every, like, day, you heard it fucking loud as shit, and I hated it. <laughs> We popular. went to the school of hard knocks that always tops college. 
Right, exactly, Andrew Tool. Exactly. <laughs> And that's why you know it is because it was so annoying. Yeah, I only know it, like I always know it's either in sync or Backstreet Boys. Like right. I always know it's one or the other when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah. All right, we will do one more. Let's make it a good one. Oh, here's a good one. I feel like Breeze will get this. In motoring, what does S U V stand for? He'll get it. He will. He will get it. He always gets the car ones. Or someone Ooh, else, fish. SUV. Andrew. Sport. Man, Sweet. I put Breeze up on a pedestal and he, he failed me. Breeze didn't even try. Whoa. Breeze. Breeze must be taking a piss. <laughs> Something. Breeze yes. gal. Breeze went to get a drink for one second. So oh, couldn't hear it. Yeah, likely uh, story. Sure. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more because it's on the card. What luxury shoe brand is famous for its red soles? Them red bottoms, y'all. Come on. I don't know. Red wings? But no, they're Got not the red. red bottom loafers just to compliment the mink. Come on, y'all. No, that Gucci. Gucci. It ain't no gooch. Benjamin, Boom. thank you. Fist, Fist bump to bump. you. Okay. Thank you. Zarosta. Mr. Okay, Mr. Red just said red bottoms. Uh, Zaroster got it first. And that sergeant, a.k.a. Ben what is from it? Louis Vuittons, y'all. Oh, Louis V's. Got them Louis you know, Bottoms. Louis V's. I had a Louis Vuitton watch one time. Was it real? It was real. Where'd you get it from? Let's not talk about it. Yeah. No, it was a trade. I got it on a trade. Yeah, so, I mean, that'll be it. Um, We can, uh, you know, revisit the pub quiz on a, on a later date. And no Christian, yeah. what is that word? Christian Louis, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis no Christian Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Christian Louis I Vuitton. had That's a Louis Vuitton name. garbage bag. <laughs> ha! Louis. Um. Yeah, we'll wrap up here in like I don't know two minutes or something. We'll sit here and shoot this shit. Unless you want to do one more question, it's up to you. One more question, and then we're gonna shut it off. Okay. In what country? Sorry about all the dings. Well, guys. it'll be two questions, one card. One okay. card. Okay, okay. In which country was Godiva Chocolatier founded? Godiva. The Holy Diva. She belonged to the summer. Uh, not Italy. Not Italia. Not Italy. You all are wrong. Not Argentina. Not Switzerland. Wrong. 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 Not Sweden. It is not from Sweden. Damn. Oh this is the Whoa. first stumper. You thought Holy Diver too? That's hilarious. Yes, the Great Wallaby. He was the first one to Google it. You guys suck. It's Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime someone takes a long time to get the answer, I always assume it's the first Google yeah, it. No. It was Belgium. Okay. Here's another one for you, Alkies. Which alcoholic spirit serves as the base of a cosmopolitan cocktail? Vodka. Vodka. You should have known that, baby. I wasn't trying to answer. I, I was letting them answer. Dan Maximo, and then Knife Nut, and then Colt FSJ. The answer was vodka. I don't drink either, Andrew. Dang, well, I did both those much. questions before two minutes, so let's do one more because we still have another minute. I did all, both those in a minute. Um, okay, we, we don't want to tell us that's weird. Um, I'll drink about three, four times a year. Did we actually go through the whole rotation? No way. No. You gotta be kidding me. No, 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 no. If we ever played that uh, that that nasty game, the other one, what was yeah. it called? The uh, most hit disturbed friends. Disturbed friends. If we ever played that, we'd have to play it on like the basis that you you have to answer. Like, yeah. You have to answer and you have to take it seriously because I feel like if we did it, everybody would just tell us like say if there's A B C. Everybody would just tell us their D answer, yeah, even though D. there is no fucking <laughs> D answer. <laughs> That would be the only downfall to it is nobody would take it like... But that's supposed to be kind of the fun of those games is somebody is like... I know those have questions I know there. it's hard. I know it's like in a way like you're like, fuck man, what would people think if I pick this? Yeah. I know. But that's the thing though. There's only those answers. Yeah. 
Okay, last card. In poker, what is the highest possible hand a player can have? Don't you dare say it, because I know you know. Your lip is wet. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Fish 705 with the answer. Uh, I'm going to guess Royal and Faku is uh, slang for Royal Flush. And then the Great Wallaby and third. All right. Last question, y'all. And then we going to peace out. See you later, EDC Journeys. Nice to see you here. Yeah, glad you're uh, out of the hospital, bud. <laughs> Andrew, I don't play poker, but I knew that. Uh, okay. I what? love poker. This is a weird question, but I want to see if anyone knows. Seems logical, Mike, with his college education. Um, yeah, yeah. Big college over yeah. here. Yeah, that's where we're going to start calling you big man on campus. Studied in social justice. Big man on campus. All right, what type of animal was the first mammal to successfully be cloned from an adult cell? I already know. No, you didn't. Well, I promise you. You I did? Yes, yeah, I promise you. You're always, when you know them, you're supposed to say, I knew that. Okay, Um, the Great Wallaby was the but first honestly, one to get it right. I was going to say goat, though. That's what Big I was Big brain say. college degree, BBCD. All right, the Great Wallaby got it right. It is sheep, cult FSJ with a close second. Man, he's killing us, too. It's like the same people keep killing it, man. Mostly folders, a bit of everything in third place. And that is all for tonight. Bye! Alright, guys, peace out! Welcome Go to get the jungle. It. We your got turn. It's your job. It's your turn. I see. Ah, oh, fuck. We got fun and games. We got everything you want. But how do we know the name? We are the people that you find. Whatever you may need. And if you got the money, honey, we got your disease in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. What are you doing? You're supposed to cut it. Letting you finish. Shut up!